Welcome to today's video. Uh, it's going to be on the topic of uh, basics and uh, basics of argumentation. Uh, why did I call it analysis? I should probably call it argumentation module. Yeah, basically here we're going to be covering the basics of uh, how uh, arguments are made. And uh, we're going to start firstly with, uh, I think, a fairly not looked at uh, part of argumentation, which is statements. Uh, this video is made for people who are, for the first time learning of how to make arguments, people who are struggling uh, with how to make arguments, uh, and uh, yeah, basically these two groups of people. Some of these things that I'm going to explain are going to be viewed as uh, extremely, extremely basic. So uh, if you think you have a good grasp of things, that's perfectly fine. You can uh, pause the video here and go. But if you are like, for example, for the first time debater or struggling, this might be useful to you. So uh, let's look at statements, which is basically the, uh, to put it simply, the headline of an argument. Now, what is the most important thing about uh, statements is they need to be clear. You need to be able to clearly articulate uh, what your statement is in a debate so that the judge understand, understands where you're going with your argument or what you're trying to do. Uh, this is even more so important for ESL speakers or like in general speakers that may not be branded as ESL, but English is not your native language. Uh, it's the best possible way to defend yourself from any discrimination or any misinterpretation of what you are saying. But also I've noticed a fair bit of all EPL speakers as well, where you listen to them and you're like, what are the argument that you're making? This doesn't make sense and things like that. Just say it in a plain sentence. So this way, actually, we're going to uh, look at this specific part of the, of the argumentation building and how to make sure that we have clear statements. So there's a particular formula that you can follow that I'm kind of using uh, in my other videos as well, if you watched it. Although not exactly because I'm not I'm not at the level where I have to use it that strictly. However, if you're new or you're struggling with making arguments, I really, really uh, advise you to utilize it. Uh, think of it as training wheels. So the formula is uh, a statement in a debate is like any uh, like mathematical equation where it's basically x equals y. So all of this will make sense in the end. Uh, it, it looks weird right now, but let's actually explain what this means. In this formula, x is the action within the motion equals will always be either leads to or will lead to. And then the y is the conclusion of the argument. The conclusion or end point of the argument. So all of this doesn't make any sense. So let me give you like some examples to clear it out. So let's look at the most generic possible motion. This house would uh, legalize all drugs. This is the motion. Let's generate a few statements. So the first most basic statement is legalizing, lega, sorry, legalizing all drugs. This is the X part. So this is the action within the motion. It's legalizing all drugs will lead to, this is the equals part. Uh, let's say uh, on government, more quality drugs. That's the, that's the why, that's the end point of the argument. That's where we want to reach, so to speak. Let's give some more examples so that uh, we can like hammer it. So legalize, you can even copy paste it. We don't even have to write it. So legalizing all drugs leads to less uh, black market. Again, this is the Y section here. So legalizing all drugs, the action within the motion will lead to like the equal sign, less black market or more quality drugs or things like that. Let's do one on the opposition. So the formula is literally the same where we copy the first part. Uh, legalizing all drugs will lead to more drug use or slash usage. And this is the why. So 
why are we doing this? Why are we following this specific formula? Because I've noticed debaters uh, just label their sentences with like random words. They just say uh, economics or history or moral responsibility and things like that. And you as a judge don't necessarily understand what you're going for or what you're trying to prove. But when you say the, se the statement like this, legalizing all drugs will lead to more quality drugs, I understand directly what you're trying to prove, right? With this particular sentence. I, you don't even have to start analyzing it. The idea is already well labeled and already um, clear enough for me to, um, to, uh, to, uh, to understand. Uh, let's give an, another example from another motion so that you don't think I am like uh, uh, just using it for this example. So like, let's look at the motion. This house would uh, legalize the death penalty. Or this, guy's, this house would uh, use the death penalty. I don't know. And then, so the motion would be using the death penalty. That's the X part of the statement. Will lead to, that's the equals part of the statement, uh, less violent crime. That's the Y part of the statement. So in reality, the first two parts of the the statement are always like syntax based on the action within the motion and the creative part is uh this part here so how how like then do i you are going to ask myself how do i transfer this then to prep so in prep you should be only thinking about the why part of uh of the arg of the argument so like because this is in reality the idea part that you are doing so like uh if this is in prep we would, we would, we would, okay, what are, we would ask what are the ideas, and then we would give uh, one, two, three, these are our ideas. The crucial thing here, ah, my dog is again here. The crucial thing here is that um, when you are generating these ideas, these are, this is fine, like to, to generate them this way. But when you start actually building the argument, when you start to comprehensively make the argument on the paper that later you'll be doing the argumentation on, it's good to take the time and write it super, super clearly. Again, especially if you're an ESL speaker, so that people directly understand what you're trying to prove and what you're trying to do with this specific, uh, with this specific formula. Uh, this may seem like hard and tedious as if you are trying to, you know, basically um, like I'm, I'm asking more of you than you, what you actually should. What do you mean? I can just say this as a sentence. Trust me. This is the number one reasons why most debaters uh, fail because they, st they, they stop from the first part, which is the clarity part. But also the second benefit here is if you write it like this, you will force yourself to analyze it in a particular way. Uh, which is super clear for the judge. So all this is associated with structure. Um, yeah. So this is basically how uh, you should do statements, uh, and uh, especially when you're analyzing them. And if you if you really if you go back to the other videos, you'll see that this is more or less how I'm doing it. I have a bit more flexibility because I've I've mastered it. But especially if you're new and you are uh, struggling with argumentation, this should be a good uh, thing to uh, to do. Okay. Cool. Um, this is on statements. Uh, the next video will be on analysis slash mechanisms. Uh, and then we will continue building up on this. So I would advise you not to skip each part of these uh, videos because uh, every video is connected to the other. Cool. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.